everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a video on what YouTube may buy. Now, keep in mind, almost all my makeup, not everything, but all my makeup, YouTubers recommended to me, and I was like, oh my god, have to have it. So, this is just like a little bit of my makeup collection that YouTubers may buy. And also Instagram, but I'm just doing YouTube today. First of all, first step, and first, I or first item was the just sponge in general. Sponges, I first bought the Beauty Blender and was amazed. And then I bought this one, which I'm gonna go back to the Beauty Blender, but this is not about that. It's the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. I don't remember who in particular recommended this to me because so many YouTubers talk about sponges and talk about this sponge, and I watch a lot of YouTube, so it's hard to remember. But I love this. I love blending out my concealer, my foundation with a sponge. I rarely ever use a brush because I just think this makes my skin look flawless and it's just easy. You just go boop, 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 boop. And that's it. Love it. Then we have, um, we're gonna do face. The Sensual Blush by Tarte and the, it's from the Naughty Nudes Collection. They're 12 hour Amazonian clay blushes. Um, Kathleen Lights, which you're gonna hear like a thousand times in this video, recommended this. She's really into natural looking blushes and I've gotten into that. And this is a very natural, like nude, kind of nudie peach. It swatches like shit, which I don't want a blush to be super pigmented to be honest. Like for an example, story time here. On Saturday, I went to work and I thought I put my blush on really nicely, not with this blush, but another blush that's very pigmented. And I walked into work, my coworker, who's a guy who has to say everything on his mind, he was like, did you go to the gym today? I'm like, no, I did not go to the gym. He's like, oh, is it just hot outside? I'm like, yes, it is hot. I was like, and also I put so much damn blush on. Thank you so much for telling me. But yeah, he's like, wow, your cheeks look so like red. I'm like, oh my God. I wish guys just wouldn't say anything when they have something weird to say or mean to say or negative to say, or they think it'd be annoying to say. Anyway, I love this blush. It's, it is like, it's not pigmented. Like when you swatch it, it doesn't look like it's worth anything. You're like, oh my god, well that's, what's that going to do? But it's like the perfect amount of pigment. And it does last like all day. I haven't timed it to see if it lasts for 12 hours, but like it lasts all day. By the end of the day, it's still there. So love that. Thank you, Kathleen, who I bet doesn't even know who the hell I am. And then sticking with face, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and the shade Bronzer. I think Kathleen Lights got me on this too, even though everybody talked about this. So... I was kind of late on the bandwagon. I got this a couple months ago because I was like, oh my God, it's so expensive. No, I don't need it. No, I needed it. And I can't believe I lived without this for so long. I wear it like almost every single day. So, and it brings me back to like my honeymoon because my honeymoon was in Hawaii. We got married in Hawaii. So it kind of brings me back to that kind of tropical happy time. And I'm still on my honeymoon sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, everybody loves that. And then sticking with face, I bet you've seen this a thousand times. The Jekyll and Hill Becca collaboration, the face palette. I love this. My little sister made me buy this, who was six or five at the time. Now she's six. She was like, Sissy, you have to have it. Because it's sparkly. So it has three blushes and two um, highlighters. I love this. The highlighters are not my favorite. They don't last as long as other highlighters do on me, even like drugstore ones. But I love all the blushes. They're very pigmented, so brace yourself. But I, I'm really glad I bought it because it was limited edition. And I'm glad I got a little taste of the highlighters and the um, blushes. And then sticking with highlighters, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And that glow, I can't believe they discontinued this because it's amazing. I use these three shades. That one's a little dark, but I'm going to use it in the summer for like, you know, a bronzer topper to make myself look really glowy. But it's everybody talked about this. I can't remember who exactly got me on this because everybody and their mama was talking about this. And then another highlighter. Everybody was talking about this last year and people still talk about this. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I'm wearing it today. It's cheap and it's really, really good. So you need it. And then um, Live Loves Review. Live Loves Reviews, Olivia got me on this. I haven't heard that many people talk about it except for her. It's the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. She has oily skin, I have dry skin, but I just set my T-zone with this. It's cheap, it does the trick. Like, why do you need to spend all this money on a powder? A powder is a powder to me, sorry. But it works, does you know what it's supposed to do, and it's cheap, did I say cheap? Three times? And then, thank you, Olivia. And then um, for eyeshadows, I bet you've seen this quite a few times. It's the Manny MUA palette. Say what you want about Manny, but I like him. So that's all I'm gonna say about him. But 
I waited for his palette as soon as I saw him talk about it. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I need it. And um, then I also, I waited in line the first launch and it, the site crashed. So then I got the second launch and I used, I hit pan on Frappe. I love um, the shade Artemis. I love the shade Luna, which I'm glad I got a shape, you know, I got a taste of the, um, got to try the foil eyeshadows because they're $10 a piece. And I'm glad I got it, you know, it's a warm tone palette, which I love warm tones. And so yeah, I love all the shades and I use all of them except for the red one and I've only used this one a couple times and this isn't my favorite round but anyway all the other shades I use and I love and everybody talks about this for a good reason. Sticking with Makeup Geek, um, Kathleen Lights, Manny, Emmy Way, Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill especially got me really into these eyeshadows especially Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, Jaclyn Hill loves those and Latte, Cocoa Bear, Bitten I don't really like but anyway Morocco I hate this shade Curfew not to be negative but it's just it's like the worst shade in my opinion. And then they're um, duochrome shades, and they're two. I don't have that many shimmery shades, but I love them. They're really good. They're cheap, and you know why spend all this money on eyeshadows when you can get these really good quality eyeshadows for you know cheaper. Then um, this was one of my first primers that I actually liked. I like had the thing like, oh my god, is it just me, or do I have these super super oily monstrous lids that I can't find a primer that works? Um, Casey Holmes and Young Wild and Polish Nicole from. Young Wild and Polish got me really into this because they have really oily eyelids. It's the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I love this. It's $26, so I'm thinking about, I'm pretty sure after I'm out of this, I'm going to get the Smashbox one because there's more product and it's a teensy bit cheaper. So anyway, let me know if you've tried that, but I love this. It makes my eyeshadow last all day. Like, it looks like I literally applied it. I've applied, you know, I put it on today. It looks like I applied my eyeshadow like I did in the morning, so I love that. And then... I don't know who got me all this because I watch a lot, again, I watch a lot of YouTubers, so I don't remember. It's the Essence Lash Princess, the Lash, or the Falls Lash Effect Mascara. My sister-in-law, Amanda, actually told me to get this, and then I also remember a lot of YouTubers told me to get this. Not told me, but, you know, told me. Um, and I love this. It's so cheap. It's like, I think less than $4, less than $5, and it's amazing. So, I don't like spending a lot of money on mascara when it doesn't last very long. You have to throw it out, and you can get something like that at the drugstore. Then everyone and their mama, and even my mama uses this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. My mom's been using this for two years. She loves it. Everybody loves this. So I do love brow pencils, but I never was like, oh my God, I need to get a $21 one. Because you know, you can get one at the drugstore, like my next ones, but I really do like this. So I might actually start getting these, even though it's gonna kill me getting a $21 brow pencil. Then ColourPop. Um, Jacqueline, or not Jacqueline Hill, but she does use Colourpop. Um, Kathleen Lights and um, Coffee Break of Danny really got me into this. My first order actually was from, was actually the um, Coffee Break of Danny Frida collection and the Kathleen Lights um, collection when her first launch, the Lumiere one, original Lumiere, not Lumiere 2, but I got, um, speaking of Kathleen Lights, the Lumiere Lippy Pencil. I love this color and I used to have the Lippy, um, Lippy Pencil, but I just said, this is a lippy stick. I used to have a lippy pencil, it vanished in the thin air, never was able to find it, but I love this. My, this is my first order, by the way, like two years ago from ColourPop. The Frida Satin um, Lippy Stick, Coffee Break Dandy Collection, and then her um, lippy stick as well. And then I got Lala, the, this is my only and my first ColourPop eyeshadow in this shade Lala. It's in my Project Pan, because this shit lasts like forever. I have like gotten a chunk out of there. Um, but yeah, ColourPop like used to be, which I mean they are still really big. They like launch something like literally I feel like it's like almost every single day. But yeah, and I also have um, the Matte X formula and candy. Speaking of ColourPop, love this a beautiful color. And then um, the Satin Lip and Echo Park, also really really love. And I did have the um, matte, the Ultra Matte Lip and Clumier too, but it was like a purple shade and it was. Oh my god, the worst formula ever. Every It's like what everybody says about um, liquid lipsticks they hate. It cracked, it was super dry. Ugh, there's nothing like the other Lumiere shade. But anyway, so let me know what you know, uh, what YouTubers made you buy, or made you feel like you had to have, any recommendations you give me. And you know, if you really enjoyed this video, give this video a like, and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.